Buongiorno. This is one of those mornings where the sky This is one of those mornings in which the sky is super clear and you can see you can see the sea from here. That's that. That's the sea. And then you have San Salvo and Vasto over there and another town called Montenero di Bisaccia over here. Right now we are going to get bread because we run out of bread yep. a few days ago and last time when we went to get it they didn't have any because they're super busy so you have to go nice and early. Yeah because they bake uh, just enough for that day which I understand you know as I've worked in hospitality a lot of my life you can do two things you can make an abundance of food and sell what you can and then you waste or you throw out so if you don't have all you don't have enough customers it, it, there's just waste or you can bake a certain amount and what and you know that's going to sell but some people are going to miss out and that's what these people do which i think is admirable because there's no waste so mm. So we're going, it's just a short walk from our home, a beautiful, beautiful walk. And the reason for this view, ah, oh, they got a new door. Oh, that's nice. Wait, <laughs> that's a beautiful door. At the bottom. And look at the metal in the... Yeah, so it, it seems like they managed to find an, an older door. Ah, I'm so glad it's not one of those um, aluminium doors. Oh, good for them. I really dislike the aluminium doors. We have some in our house and can't wait for the day where, um, when we can change them. Um, anyway, so the reason for this video is because you will have noticed that we, lately, we have put up a few apartments um, on our YouTube channel, so we have done a few tours. Hey, Pujo! <laughs> we have done a few tours of um, apartments instead of houses. And when in Italy, you always have to stop and pat the cats and the dogs and have a conversation with a local, so little by little, we... We're learning to eat slow, um, to eat, not eat slower, to live slower and eat slower as well, especially you. Have you learned to eat slower, honey? See, si, I'm learning to eat slower. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, boo boo. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We haven't seen we you for ages. Up, they did. <laughs> Ciao, buongiorno. <laughs> So, as I was saying, um, we have been doing quite a few apartment tours lately. One of the main reasons is because um, us, ourselves, when, when we were buying a home, or every time we bought a home, because we've, we've been through the process a few times, we didn't have very big budgets. We... We love stone houses, we love historical homes and, and homes with architectural value, which we had been lucky enough to have found within our price ranges, but not all the time you can find them, especially that are habitable, that just require some um, aesthetic. Aesthetic, aesthetic work. Um, so we really don't want people to miss out or think that you can only first that you can only get a house or that you can only get a ruin or that moving to italy or buying a home in italy is just going to cost you so much and that you will never be able to make your dream come true so for many people an apartment 
that is, let's say, more modern um, is the only or, way. Or perhaps it's in a, a building like a 60s or 70s or 80s uh, building, which is not the prettiest, you know, let's be honest, but are very functional and there's nothing wrong with that. It gets you in Italy, it gets you a living space in a nice town that you can use it as a holiday. Yeah, so that's where I was going yeah. with it. So uh, a place like that could be the first step or the only step that many people can take when moving to Italy. And especially if you want to live in a town that has a decent amount of people and a decent amount of services and that is centrally located, let's say close to the beach or close to a main town or close to a train station. So a lot of the time, these apartments that we have been showing are, buongiorno, a lot of the time these apartments that we have shown are um, meet those, um, tick those boxes that I just talked about. Often these places, if you look beyond what you can see there, you can find that they have very good bonds that you can do the work yourself, like changing tiles or putting in a kitchen or doing some painting uh, of the walls. So um, I think there is something to be said. We arrived at the, at the Panificio. So, and Georgie is there waiting patiently. Buongiorno. <laughs> Do you want me to hold him? Yeah, bello. Bravo. Aspetta pacientemente. <laughs> so I think there is something to be said about Woo! the door. Georgie, you can't move. <laughs> so, ah, Jesus, let's go to the shade, George. Come on. So, I think there is definitely something to be said um, for, for these apartments, and I'm sure, yes, they're not for everyone, but. I am actually surprised um, at the good comments that many of them have had because, to be honest, when I walk into these places and when Aiden w look, walks into those places, um, it's easier to see past the, the, the emptiness of the space or the fact that they haven't been lived in for a few years or even the things that the owners um, have left behind. So it's easier to to see that in person, but it's a little bit harder to to get that idea from a video. So I am glad that a few people have been managed to to see past that, and, and that is great. And I'm surprised that they've had had um, a good, they've been they've been received well, these um, these types of videos. Also, often with these, also often he brings the bread home <laughs> also with these apartments often there is a deal to be to take the bag. Oh, well, we need a plastic bag anyway also um with these apartments there is often a, a deal a deal to be to be made um, and with the apartments usually there's minimal work because it's it does, it usually they don't need structural structural work like um, some of the historical hundred year old homes stone homes need like structurally they're usually fine they just need paint they need maybe some new doors or, and cleaning really <laughs> yeah. so there's, there's a lot less work to be done basically yeah so that means that you can get in it um, quicker or that it could become a base for you from where you can explore other things or that will give you the opportunity. Buongiorno, ciao. Non ho visto? Sì. Non mi vedevo più. No, perché era caldo.
Quindi per lui è un po' difficile. Sì. Stai bene il cane, stai bene? Sì. Sì. Sì, sì. Ah. Sì. Ah. Ok. Va bene. Derci, ciao. Ciao. Ma, 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 ma non è malata? No, 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 no ah. sta bene. Sta ah, sta bene, sta bene. Ah, the lady from the corner sì. house. Ah, ci, man ci manca. <laughs> sì, sì. Ah, e per favore saluta, salutala? No. Sì, sì. Di, di salutala? Sì, 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 sì. da noi. Sì. <laughs> ok. Ieri infatti mi ha chiamato. Sì, ah, ah she called her yesterday. Ah, okay, yeah. sì. ah va bene. Ok, buona giornata. Ciao. 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 Ah, we were just talking about a lady that moved out of this town and she used to live in this beautiful stone house. Um, she went to move with her daughter somewhere bigger because she was getting on. Um, what were we saying? Hey, so I just asked um, I just asked the baker what they're going to do this year because they take two weeks off or a month, but I think that's usually two weeks. Um, in September, so after the, the warm, after the summer season. Anyway, she said that, I said, where are you going this year? She said, oh, maybe they're going to go to Sardinia on their motorbike. <laughs> cool, they like, have a beautiful what? big bike. Yeah, they've got this beautiful big road bike. Um, I love it. But they're possibly going to go to Sardinia, which will be cool. freaking awesome. <laughs> so I guess I'll put it on the ferry. Like drive it to to the other side, to the Roman side. Um, put it on the ferry and then um, drive from there, which would be awesome because Sardinia is absolutely beautiful. Oh, I think George is gonna do more bisogno again. Ah yes, I remember what I was saying. <laughs> so um, probably, so maybe um, one of these apartments could become yeah. your base from from which you can discover all the parts of Italy or this region or you can just test out if this is for you without having the problem of signing a very very long lease for rental or paying exorbitant prices for rentals like um, for holiday rentals like Airbnb okay um, we hope that this video have made sense Often when we do um, talk and walk and talk videos, we get to see people and, and have conversations. So it needs to be paused um, quite often, but that's what it is living here. And I bet that's one of the reasons why you want to move here. So that what happens in your life is important to other people and that you can create um, certain connections that are more difficult to create these days. Ciao that are more difficult to create these days um, in other places or in bigger places. Um, that's it for today. Today's Friday. We hope we can enjoy this weekend of uh, summer by going to the beach, hopefully one of these days. Um, and that's it. Have a great weekend. Ciao. Please consider watching this video. I'm sure you'll find it entertaining and informative. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Ciao!